Kate Guy, I'm a senior research fellow with the Center for Climate and Security uh, here in DC and uh, was the principal investigator and chair of the panel that uh, published this report, a Security Threat Assessment of Global Climate Change. We're seeing things like food and water stress turn into famines, turn into uh, massive migrations of people, turn into uh, potential political and institutional collapse at a local level, uh, potentially sparking conflict or violence between groups um, and regions where these effects are happening, and of course leaving, leading to loss of life in many, many places. Uh, so this report specifically looks at how future scenarios of warming might impact security environments, security institutions, and security infrastructure specifically. So we can understand, you know, as a security community, what is the threat really like and how do we better analyze um, the difference in warming scenarios. Places we already are worried about in the world are getting a lot worse and a lot more dangerous. And as that temperature um, increases over time, those impacts don't stay confined to those parts of the world. All parts of the world become affected. And that was the other big finding of our report, is that at those longer term, very high levels of warming, there is no region of the world that's unaffected. The magnitude of the risks that climate change poses are so extreme that it really needs to be central to all levels of security planning within the U.S. government and international security governments as well. And so what we mean by that is, first, we need to mitigate the threat. And we need to do, as a society and as a, a globe, everything we can to make sure that those high levels of warming that we, we analyze never come to pass. The second and third way that we really need to um, look at these impacts from a security community perspective is first we need to be climate proofing everything. We need to climate proof the decisions we make, we need to climate proof the missions we take, we need to climate proof our infrastructure, um, our energy systems, all of these things because we know some of these impacts are already here um, and we need to limit the destruction that they can pose and can pose into the future. So we need to climate proof all levels of our life. The U.S. security community has been one of the first taking climate change seriously and has historically, um, you know, through the intelligence services, through the military, through the security forces, understood very quickly that climate change could throw a lot of things into bad directions. So that's why we are, uh, as a security community, always very happy when we see bipartisan efforts um, in, on Capitol Hill and in other places that is, you know, recognizing security impacts to our bases, uh, understanding that we need to do these analyses and I believe it truly is a bipartisan issue. Um, national security affects everyone and an issue like climate change will affect all of us whether we uh, admit it or not.